into Wargaming World. Okay, I'm going to try uh, a game here which is uh, slightly different. I think I'm going to look at what we can do with the Germans having to defend this time uh, from two points, possibly uh, the station here and then further across maybe some kind of HQ. Now the board is uh, very uh, very wide so we've got the the river here and I think actually what I'm going to do is uh, really the farm section area is just well for decoration because the game essentially is going to be played uh, on a smaller uh, a smaller table so it's not awfully deep but that should be countered by the fact that the Germans really will be in this HQ here and then we've got a gap uh, across the road over to the uh, uh, to the station. I'm also going to have quite a, a weak German force if we can uh, so something like uh, the fifth wave and this might be for example uh, an attack from the French uh, right at the start of 1940 a bit of a uh, uh, a platoon uh, probe exercise something like that so that's the background and uh, I'll have a look at the uh, forces and we'll take a look as well at the patrol phase right the game we're going to play is a hasty defense and this is the basic uh, German force and it's a fifth wave force therefore uh, we have uh, a fairly standard start in terms of a, a senior leader here and also a senior leader with a submachine gun. We've got four squads, four identical squads. Uh, it's uh, a light machine gun, it's not an MG34, uh, but it's still uh, three crew, six rifles and a, a junior leader with a submachine gun. So we've got four of those and as far as the Germans are concerned they start the game on uh, zero. So uh, with the Germans on zero for uh, their platoon uh, forced rating we can move across to the French. So the French uh, it's a standard platoon so we start off with uh, two senior leaders uh, the one on the left hand side uh, with a pistol uh, has a, a factor of three uh, this is the inferior uh, senior leader next to him with rifle which has two command points and then we have a VB team uh, with its junior leader and then we have the three uh, sections to its platoon so each of these sections has a junior leader it has a light machine gun so it's two crew with four rifles uh, as part of that uh, for additional crew and we have four further rifles so each section has eight rifles in total it has uh, two uh, men for the uh, light machine gun and the junior leader and that's uh, all three right so uh, because of the uh, difference of one for the uh, platoon uh, force rating uh, the Germans will get an additional one to this but I'm going to roll 2d6 uh, we get uh, uh, this score and the attackers which will be the French will get an additional six so let's see how we go right so we've got six points of support so in total the Germans will have seven and the French 12. Okay the Germans had seven points so I've spent five on a Panzer II. Uh, in reality I wanted a Panzer III and uh, I've got two of them but they're still in the box so uh, the Panzer IV which I've got a couple of uh, was just another uh, one point too many so I've gone for five points here and with the other two points I've gone for a pre-game barrage. The French, uh, well we had 12 points for the French, so uh, I've gone for a mixture here of uh, getting another section. Uh, this uh, is the Senegalese infantry, so uh, I got uh, that section for 5 points, and then with the remaining uh, 7 points I thought I'd get uh, a 75mm gun with 5 crew and a junior leader. Uh, so that's cost me uh, another four and for three points the very trusty uh, Renault R35 so this is our French support so uh, on to the game uh, this is a hasty defense which is part of the 1940 uh, Blitzkrieg uh, supplement so this is how it works 
Uh, the Germans hold uh, three areas. This is how I'm going to uh, to play it. We've got this railway station, and in the background, we've then got uh, the start of a village. So that's the uh, second section. Uh, the road intersects that with a sort of large hotel here. So that's going to be the third section for the Germans. The objective for the French is that this game is so that they can push through uh, along this road. It's the road that's the most important. And uh, to win the game, the French have got to get one unit off the board. Uh, and for me, it's off the board down that road, whilst at the same time holding two of the three sections. So it means that the Germans don't have any units in either the uh, station, uh, the start of the village, uh, or in the hotel. We need two of those three, and it's got to be no Germans in them uh, in the at the end of a particular turn. Right, so that's the objective of the game. Now, before we do the patrol phase, the last thing to do is to see uh, the morale. So, uh, the French get a five, so they'll be on ten. Germans get a three, uh, they're going to be on nine. Okay, this is going to be how the patrol phase works, starting with the Germans. I'm going to roll 2d6, 1, 2, 3, then 2 points will start behind the station. And 4, 5, 6, it's at the back of the hotel. So, Germans will start with all four points at the back of this hotel. This means that the French patrol markers are here, right at the board edge, two there at the back of the station, with the Germans, four of the Fonschemjäger there, in there, that's going to be our patrol markers for the Germans. Right, so, now to see where we start. Right, that was an interesting patrol phase, so we've got uh, two the French units here just at the edge of the uh, station and they're certainly going to control uh, one of the of the three areas. The Germans one here uh, in the tailors at the first floor of the tailors. Uh, then we've got uh, another of the markers here uh, just before the brasserie. Then we have uh, another German marker here. In fact we have two uh, across uh, this particular road with one of the French markers here, just next to the church, and this one just further along here in the, uh, well, the, uh, the hay field. Okay, so the German uh, jump off points, we've got one here in the brasserie. Uh, we've got one here, which is the, uh, with the car uh, next to this particular building, and the third we've got here, right in the center uh, of the first floor of the hotel. For the French, uh, we've got one here behind the church, and then the other two on the other side here in the station. So we've got one just behind the uh, station building, and then one inside there. So, right, the French quite obviously have a good presence in this particular uh, area, one of the three sections, so it's a question of then can they take either this one or the hotel and then get a unit off the board and they've got to get it off the board down that road. So let's see with the first phase. Right, here we go with the French phase to start off with. The best roll for them would be three sixes, end of turn, get rid of the pre-game barrage and uh, get them forward. Let's see how we go. Unfortunately not, it's going to be Germans next, but we have two twos, a three and a four. Well, two twos, a three and a four would seem quite obviously uh, the best thing to do would be to just drive straight down the road. But the problem is that uh, we know that the Germans have got jump off points right opposite. And uh, it's not quite as easy to take these two buildings as well. We've got this... Uh, iron railings in front so it's going to be a bit difficult just to get across and uh, try and take the uh, the buildings themselves and possibly a crossfire here 
with this building where we might well find uh, uh, machine guns inside it. Anyway, before we can do anything we need to see if we can get any of the forces onto the table uh, with the Germans having a uh, a barrage as well. So uh, let's see what we want to do. First of all, let's see if we can get the R35 on the table. So this is the three, you know, one, two, three is a fail and we can't, so it's not on the table yet. With one of the twos, I want to get a VB section on, uh, but that fails. I then want to get a section inside the station and they can get there. And uh, I also want to get uh, one of the senior leaders is going to be the inferior senior leader, but he can't get on the board. Right, after that uh, phase, all we've got is one French section here in at the station. German phase. So we've got one for the Cheney Commando, so that moves starts off at set one, a uh, three, a four, and a two. Right, so we're going to waste any time here. Uh, brought the Panzer II on with the three. We had a four and a two, so we've got a section uh, who uh, are now on the ground and the first floor, and the senior leader is with them on the first floor as well. So, over to the French. Right, so they start on the uh, Jenny Command Dice as well, so we've got one, and then uh, two twos, a three, and a four. Right, with the three, I'm going to see if I can bring in the 75mm gun. Uh, no, we can't. And uh, just what I did on the first phase, with the first two, I'm going to see if I can bring in this v B team. No, I can't. I'll see if I can bring in an inferior leader. No, I can't. And with the final two, I'm going to see if I can bring in uh, another section uh, in the station. Yes, I can. Actually, rather than the station, I've put them in the church, coming from this uh, jump-off point. So, yeah, that's where they are, and uh, maybe they'll look for this uh, as the target. German phase. Another one of the chain, chain of command dice, so it's up to two. You know, two ones, a two and a four. Right, the Germans very much in place. Uh, so with one of the twos, uh, we've got this uh, squad here on the first floor of the hotel. And then just further along, we have uh, another squad. The squad are in here and uh, near that uh, jump off point there. I haven't used the four, which is uh, where I've got the uh, senior leader. So at the moment, uh, all we've got to uh, deploy for the Germans is a fourth and final squad and one senior leader, uh, but certainly uh, they're uh, ready and in position. French phase. One for the chain of command dice. Four, two ones this time, and two. I'm going to try again and see if I can bring in the uh, 75mm gun. And failed again. With a four, I'm going to see if I can bring in the inferior leader. Uh, yes, I can. I'll uh, bring him in uh, where the uh, troops are at the station. German phase. And uh, two threes and two ones. In actual fact, I'm going to pass. Uh, the Germans are in a perfect position here. I don't want to deploy the final squad because uh, we haven't even started firing yet. I haven't got a target. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll just pass it over to the French. Right, French phase. Another for the chain of command dice to take it to three. And then we've got two threes and a four. Okay, we've got a two threes and a four. So with one of the threes, I'm going to bring on, or try and bring on the 75mm gun. The other is a junior uh, section uh, with a junior leader and to act from there. Now, I could have brought on the R35, but I'm only going to bring that on when I've got a 3 and a 1, because if I bring it onto the table, it can't move and fire um, unless we have that combination, the 3 and the 1, and I haven't got this uh, here. So, let's start off with, uh, with the 75mm gun. No, that's not on the table. And can we bring on the junior section? That's a 3, 
and that's a no. Uh, so uh, it's over to the French because I'm not doing anything with the uh, four either until I've got some better support and more infantry. German phase. And I was really hoping for uh, just fives here so I could build up the chain of command dice. Uh, and I think like uh, the last phase I'm going to pass. French phase. One for the chain of command dice, which takes it over to four. Uh, we've got three fours uh, and a one, so uh, not a great deal I can do with this either. And nothing else from the French either. And uh, nothing from the Germans. So I'll have a look at that. Okay, so with the two and the one, I'm going to have that as a three and then use the one. So this time I can bring the R35 onto the table uh, if we get the roll, of course. Uh, so we'll have the dr the driver will be driving the, uh, the tank and then the junior leader will be firing the main gun. So then I'll take up those three dice and then I'll have a look afterwards about the one and the four. Okay, can I bring the tank onto the table? No, I can't. Rather than try and uh, bring in another section, I'm going to move uh, the French further forward uh, in the church. Right, that was a good roll for the French. So they're now uh, advanced all the way up to uh, the front of this church. I'm looking to see what they might do in terms of an assault of this hotel. German phase gives us nothing on the chain of command dice. And over to the French, uh, takes us, we've got two threes, two fives, so what I might well do uh, to move this game on is to end the turn anyway, if we don't get some kind of success here. I've got two threes, so I'm going to try and bring on this 75mm gun and probably another junior section. First of all, can I bring on the 75mm? No, unbelievable. And uh, can I bring on another section? Yes, right, okay, so I'm going to bring another section uh, on uh, onto the table. Okay, so with the three I've brought in the VB team behind the station here and as I said I've now got six for a full chain of command dice so I'm going to end the turn. So a new turn and a German phase. Three fours and a two. I still know, don't know exactly where the French are coming from, so I've passed over to the French again, but this time, hopefully, we'll get more movement. Okay, two fours, two ones. All right, that's all I'm doing here, to bring on uh, the Senegalese infantry, and I think I'm going to make a choice in terms of which uh, assault I want to make. I think it might well be try and take the hotel. It might be easier by taking it on the right hand side here rather than trying to get across this road from the station uh, so yeah let's see how we go on and it's now the german phase one with the chain of command dice taking it to three and then we've got a one a two and a four it's the i'm um, leaving it and not doing anything with the germans and i know it's a bit um unusual i'm almost waiting for the french to get on the table with the uh uh, armor etc and then knock out that tr uh, that tank but the Germans are defending and they haven't got a target as yet so therefore I've not got much options but to wait until the Germans can actually see the French before they can uh, engage so I'll uh, carry on the way I am at the moment so that means we've got a, a French phase a French double phase in fact uh, we've got a three and a one so we could try uh, in fact we, we would bring the tank on and it's a, an ideal time to do so so we've got a senior leader uh, to be activated if we wish but certainly I can bring that tank on and then it's a second uh, French phase right so we've got a three and a one so that allows me then to bring on the R35 so the one is the driver is driving the tank and the three means that the um, uh, the junior leader in the tank can fire the main gun at the Panzer II. Right, so uh, to hit it's normally a five. We've moved six, low profile for the Panzer II is a seven. 
and that's definitely a miss. Right, that's the only thing I'm going to do in this uh, phase. I'm not going to use the uh, senior leader, um, so therefore it's uh, the French. This time with four dice, it's house rule. I always reduce it by one when it's a repeat phase. Uh, this time we have one to the chain of command dice, uh, so it's just going to be one to start off with, and then a one and a four. Well, with a four and a one, uh, I'm not going to do anything because I'm not going to bring in the other senior leader uh, because I've got another section and a gun to get on board. And after all the trouble I've had beforehand, I'm not going to, you know, I want to bring him on last. And with the one, I'm not going to move a team or activate a team independently. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to uh, go on to the uh, German phase. Right, so that's the end of turn. Four and a one so it's not really much use to the germans either uh, but we're going to move on to the uh, third turn okay so uh, turn three four dice for the germans and uh, one for the chain of command dice taking it to four a three and two ones okay so with the three uh, we're going to see if the panda two can hit uh, no, it can't, so it misses the uh, R35. Not doing anything with the two ones, uh, so uh, we're over to the French again. Five for the chain of command dice, taking it to two, four, and two ones. Right, with a four, I've brought on a senior leader, and uh, we're going to get this uh, this unit, the Senegalese infantry, to move uh, tactically just round uh, the church. I know that, um, and with two, rather I should say, is to also bring on uh, the other uh, the other section. I know then we'll still have a, a gun which is off board and we'll have to roll to see if I can bring them on or not but uh, since the uh, fighting started I need to get these French infantry moving. Right so senior leader has ordered uh, this first section uh, out so the, they've gone out uh, tactically. Uh, we've also moved with the Senegalese infantry not very far, uh, but again uh, moving tactical, and with a two brought in the uh, remaining uh, section, uh, which are in the uh, in the church. So uh, that's the end of the French phase, German phase, and uh, two twos got a five to take the chain of command uh, dice up to a five. The tank can have another go, and two twos, so it can certainly uh, open fire on the French infantry that have uh, started to appear. Right, let's see uh, if the tank can hit the R35 to start off with. Yes, that's definitely a hit. Okay, the armour uh, of the tank is five, armour piercing is three, so let's see how we go on. Right, so uh, no, there's no effect there. Uh, with uh, two uh, for the for the French and just one uh, for the Germans. I'm actually wondering whether that tank's going to uh, knock this out at all. Uh, I'm half tempted just to actually ram it uh, to stop it moving, but uh, maybe that's just a bit a bit desperate. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. Right, so with the two twos, uh, I'm going to have a machine gun fire out of the uh, window building on the left hand side and from the hotel we're going to have 12 dice we've got a machine gun and six rifles uh, just to note it's not the mg34 so that's why it's uh, six rather than eight dice uh, firing on both of them are going to fire on this unit that have come out um, uh, at the front of the church right first of all uh, six needing fours and that's five hits Right, they're tactical and in soft cover, so it's five for shock, six to kill. The white dice are the rifle team. And so we've got two kills and two shock there. Let's just test whether it's the leader. No, it's not. Now, 12 dice from the hotel, needing fours. Right, that was six hits, same as before. Need fives and sixes, so we've got uh, one point of shock for both the rifle and the machine gun team. French uh, phase. Chain of command dice up to three, a one, a three, and a four. Right, with the three, I'm going to see if I can bring on this 75mm gun. And yes, I can. Okay, eventually, uh, the uh, gun's on the table and it's going to fire straight away 
right into that uh, team above the door on the first floor of the hotel. Right, six dice needing fours. And uh, that looks like five hits. Right, the Germans are in hardcover, uh, but with it being the uh, the gun, it's going to be a 4-5 is shock, six to kill. That's one point of shock and one kill. Need to check whether it's the leader. No, it's not. So it's going to be uh, one from the rifle team uh, and the point of shock also. So I think that's an error. That needs to be one on the machine gun team, so it's equally shared. So one off the rifle team and then one point of shock for the machine gun team. Right, with a one, I'm going to move uh, the machine gun team out of this building so we can go 1d6 and uh, possibly cause a bit of a diversion. So it's four inches. With the four, the senior leader is going to order this section to fire uh, up against the uh, the hotel there and for the two sections uh, behind to uh, uh, to move up okay so the french firing uh, into this hotel uh, needing fours to start off with we've had some de deductions due to the shock etc so we've got 11 dice in total so that gives us one two three four five six seven hits it's going to be four on the rifles so it's going to be the green dice the Three on the machine gun, needing fives for shock, six to kill. So we've got uh, two more points of shock on the machine gun team. That's the German phase. A German double phase. Uh, one, two, and a four. Okay, from left to right, uh, with a one, the machine gun team are going to fire again out that window. With the two, we've added in the final squad here. With the four, the senior leader has appeared and has ordered the first floor section to fire again and with the other two commands we'll add uh, machine gun out to this section down here which adds two dice uh, to its fire. So first of all with the single machine gun team six dice in the four fives and sixes we get three hits. Two on the rifle team, one on the machine gun team and that gives us one point of shock uh, to the rifle team. First floor, uh, rifles and machine gun, needing fours. Not great shooting, just five hits. Five for shock, six to kill, white dice going to be the machine gun. Uh, one point of shock and two kills. Let's just check if it's the leader. Yes it is. And what happens to him? That's a light wound. That means you've got something on the bad things uh, which is nothing. In the first floor it's 11 dice and that's nine hits. Fives and sixes again, white dice is the machine gun team. So what have we got there? So we've got two points of shock on the machine gun team, one sorry one on the machine gun team, two on the rifle team, I have to check in terms of its size now, and one killed. Just need to check whether it's the leader uh, no it's not. Right so uh, this team, the rifle team of three men, uh, their shock has gone up to six and they will break. So they break six plus 2d6 uh, so that's 12 inches in total and then let's have a look and see what they do in terms of uh, a bad thing for team breaks. That's a six, that's a minus two which takes uh, the French down to eight. Okay so it's the uh, second uh, German phase and uh, yeah, two threes, two and a four. Right, well, we're going to have a repeat as we had uh, in the last phase. So two uh, will be that the section on the ground floor will fire. However, they'll get an additional two points, uh, or two dice, I should say, uh, with the senior leader uh, with Machine Gun Arten, who also orders for the section on the first floor to fire. Uh, and uh, again, they're going to fire at the main target here uh, right at the front. Slightly different here though, um, we've got the junior leader ordering so the machine gun team are going to fire out of the front window again and we're going to have some rifles firing out of this window uh, shooting at the French team over here. Finally we've got a three and um, so we're going to have uh, the main gun this time firing at the uh, 
75 millimeter as well so it's going to change its target and fire over here so let's have a look and see how we go Panzer II needing four fives and sixes and we've got uh, three hits high explosive so although uh, there's a, a gun shield and possibly some soft cover uh, we're going to do it as if it is soft cover so four five will be shock six to kill and so we've got two points of shock here we've got a big window so i'm going to say there's going to be three rifles that can fire onto this team here so we need fives and sixes and we've got two hits team are in the open yeah, but that's no effect machine gun needing fours and we've got two hits five shock six to kill yeah, that's one kill is it the uh, junior leader no it's not the first floor firing needing fours it's five hits five for shock six to kill one more kill one more point of shock is it the leader yes it is what happens to the leader he's uh, knocked unconscious Straight away, let's roll for a bad thing. Four, I think, is a minus one, which would take uh, the French uh, down to seven. And finally, uh, first floor, sorry, uh, the ground floor, 14 dice, needing fours. That's seven hits, fives and sixes needed. Uh, we've got certainly two points of shock, and that team will break also. Bad thing again. Uh, three is uh, minus one, which takes the French down to six. And then let's see how far we go. Uh, two inches plus six, that's eight. Okay. Well, that was a pretty disastrous uh, couple of phases for the French. Let's see how they reply. Okay. That's not a great roll. So three fours, uh, a three and a six. Right with a three I'm going to use the, uh, the infantry gun to uh, try and take out that tank so um, it's uh, got two points of shock and it's also uh, a small target so therefore we need an eight to hit and that's an eight. Right so it's uh, Five against two with a French favour. We're looking at fives and sixes. Let's see what we get. Uh, that's plus two to the French. Uh, let's see what the consequence is. So a plus two and a three. So a difference of two is two points of shock and uh, the junior leader is wounded. So it's down to uh, one command and that's also a bad thing for the Germans. Uh, six I think is always a minus two which I think takes them down to a seven okay it's a little messy over here but with the four the senior leader has uh, moved outside the building ordered this uh, Senegalese infantry to uh, withdraw which they uh, have and taken a point of shock off this gun with the four over here the senior leader only has two commands so he's kept things into two teams so this team is going to fire uh, back uh, over at the uh, the building on the other side there and the other team got a good roll and have moved out and they're actually in the uh, in the woods here so we've got two separate teams uh, currently so this team uh, we've got a machine gun and uh, we've also got four rifles so we've got ten dice uh, firing over at the Germans needing fives and we've got uh, two hits Green is the machine gun team, they're in hard cover, so five for shock, six to kill. And we do have one kill. So we've got one killed on the rifle team. Is it the leader? No, it's not. It's a better phase for the French, at least it's uh, actually been able to do something active. What have we got here? So we've got uh, five for the chain of command dice, that takes it to a, a full dice. We've got a one and three fours. Now with the fours, I'm just uh, checking that we can definitely fire, and we certainly can, at the uh, 
75 millimeter gun there so the senior leader is going to order just the machine gun teams from the first floor and from the ground floor uh, to fire uh, with the one uh, we'll have the same target as well so there we go that'll be a straight line out into that window so we've got three machine guns firing now down onto this uh, infantry gun and with the other four uh, we're going to have uh, this uh, team firing onto this French team as well. Slightly obscured, but uh, we can certainly fire. Fires to hit. We've got an extra two dice for machine gun out and with the ground floor machine gun, first of all. And that gives us one, two, three hits. Right, we've got three hits. Um, I'm going to say that this section here is within four inches so it takes the casualties as well they have soft cover I'm not going to give them soft cover and hard cover with the wall so essentially I'm just going to say it's going to be four five is shock and six to kill I'm going to say the white dice is the retreating French and so they have a point of shock it doesn't seem to make any difference because they're still uh, retreating uh, but we have one kill uh, amongst the uh, the gun is it the leader no it's not six dice needing fives this is the first floor uh, gun and we have three hits again same calculation and same outcome so we've got another point of shock uh, for the infantry and another kill from the infantry gun is it the leader no, it's not. Finally, the third machine gun, this time from the uh, other window, needing fives. Just the one hit this time. And it's another kill. So, uh, is it the leader third time? No, it's not. Okay, firing from the brasserie. Ten dice this time, needing four fives and sixes. One, two, three, four, five hits. Team are in the open, and that means we've got three killed and one point of shock. Now we're going to have to share the casualties because the other team were close enough. They're in the woods, uh, so I'm going to say uh, one of the killed is from there, two from this one, although we need to check whether it is uh, the junior leader. No, it's not. This really needs to be a good roll, I think, for the French. So we've got uh, three ones, a four and a three. First ones first, we're going to fire at that tank again. This could be a bit uh, make or break. Does it hit it? Yes, it does. Okay, so hits it. What happens? Right, so it's good defending for the, uh, for the Germans. So it's... Uh, to each so it's a tie essentially uh, but that might not be the end of the story it's a net zero so we do need to roll for it but if we get a five or six it could be a point of shock uh, for the tank no it's not it's a bit of a waste but I'm going to need to use the R35 as well with the three ones so is that going to hit the tank six now that might have i'm going to have to double check right so although it's a low profile uh the panzer 2 it is a hit so let's see how we go and that's nothing crack out of four rolls that's three fives and a six so uh nothing going i'm afraid over here it's fairly chaotic but we've got a junior leader which has um or a senior leader with two commands it's going to order both of the two teams uh, to uh, run as best they can uh, down to the other side of that uh, building. So it's two dice for both teams. Uh, one is in the woods, one is just behind it. So the one that's in the woods, 11 inches, that should be fine. And the one behind it that got hit, uh, six inches, let's see. Well, uh, one of the teams got into cover. Uh, the other is uh, out in the open, really and uh, can be fired at certainly by the tank but we'll see uh, what happens in the next phase which will be the Germans. Just before we do the uh, German phase just a quick recap that we have uh, the Germans holding 
uh, this particular section. Uh, they're very strong in this uh, hotel and building. Over on this side, we have the brasserie, which is held by the Germans with the tank in front of it. The French, well, we've got some troops here trying to uh, move across, but they're gonna need more support. We've got uh, a VB team here hiding behind the station. We do have uh, a tank, but the aim of the game really is to clear certainly that side, and so we can have one section get off the uh, off the table. Uh, it might well be uh, this unit who are behind that uh, tailors there, or the R35. But we'll have to see. On this side, we've had a bit of a disaster, and uh, we've got two sections hiding really with the church, or in the church I should say, and we've also got this uh, uh, 75 millimeter gun which has taken a real battering and as it's the German phase are very likely to get uh, wiped out. On the chain of command uh, situation we've got uh, force morale for the French on six, Germans just ahead on seven, uh, but with French casualties to come uh, it looks like it's going to be a very, very, very uh, tight game for the French to try and uh, achieve the objective but let's wait and see. Right we're over to the uh, German phase and uh, we've got uh, four and two ones and one for the uh, second chain of command dice which uh, takes it up to one. Okay we've got a four so it's going to be active again as has been here at the uh, the first floor and the ground floor so we'll do that in a moment we've also got a machine gun team here and it's going to be active and i'll allow with the one here for the machine gun team to sort of lean out the window in order to fire down on the french there so uh, i think that's where we'll start force to hit and we've got uh, three hits in the open so we've got uh, two points of shock and a kill that team have actually got three men and three points of shock, so they're not uh, pinned. Uh, so we'll see how they go when it comes to the French phase. Right, over here, uh, we're going to start firing again uh, at the 75mm. Uh, right, six dice, needing fives to start off with, and that's three hits. I'm going to say it's one on the... Uh, one dice on the infantry which are going to be uh, pinned here so uh, and we've also got this section behind soft cover I think I've only given it soft cover beforehand so we'll say four fives uh, will be shock six to kill and the white dice is the infantry and that is nothing machine gun on the first floor fives and sixes Two hits, one each with the white dice being the infantry again. Four, five is shock, six to kill. That's one kill uh, on the uh, 75 millimeter gun. If it's a one, it's the junior leader, and it is. And what happens to him? And he's knocked unconscious. Okay, so that's a bad thing straight away to look at that. A one. Uh, that might be nothing. Just check. Yeah, that's another thing. So the French stay on six. Now, unlike previously, uh, on the ground floor, it's just the machine gun firing via the um, uh, where the, the doors are. However, they hadn't had a two. Pre previously, we've had a four and a two, so they fired. And then we've added two with the uh, machine gun out, but we can't on this. It's just a command to fire, so we've just got six dice. So six dice. Again, needing fives. And we've got three hits. So, same again. Oh, triple one. Absolutely nothing. Well, I feel like the French got away with one there. Uh, so, right, let's see, uh, see what happens. We might have something positive. Mm, no, not really. Let's have a look. So, we've got three twos. We've got a chain of command dice, which takes us up to four. Right, uh, with the uh, senior leader here, he's going to order this gun to fire, uh, first of all. Uh, let's see what we, he does elsewhere. The, the note, the red dice, by the way, is just to show that there's only two figures uh, still left, not, uh, not three, so that's what that's 
uh, illustrating. Right, the gun is going to fire at the tank. Let's see how we go on. And that's a hit. Right, five onto two. And uh, that's uh, a win by two for the French. So the consequence, that's a one. Right, even with a one, uh, the difference is two. And as a consequence, they take uh, the tank, uh, the driver's killed. It takes two more uh, points of shot, which takes it up to four. And that's it. The uh, Panzer II is, uh, uh, is knocked out. Right, so that's a support unit route, effectively. So it's a bad thing. However, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to burn the chain of command dice on that one. So we're not going to keep it, uh, take a test. So the uh, Germans are going to stay at seven for the uh, force morale. Right, the senior leader with his other two uh, commands is going to order uh, this section to move and take a point of shock off this gun. And with the other two, I'm going to get uh, this section to move uh, further forward. German phase. And uh, we've got one to the chain of command dice. And then we've got a one, a two, and a four. As we were. So we've got uh, a one here. So the machine gun's going to fire out the window at the uh, team just there out in the open. So we need four, fives, and sixes. And that's two hits. And that's two more points of shock. And we've got five points of shock now. So they are pinned, uh, but not broken. Now we're going to have uh, machine gun fire at the 75mm again from the ground floor and from the uh, at first floor. However, I've realised I had three points of shock on the team at the top, uh, which must have happened right at the start of the game. And it is on the machine gun team, and I've been using uh, full dice really all the way through the game. So I think I'm going to penalise it just to uh, three dice for this round and uh, I'm going to have the ground floor at fire as normal. So three dice from the top and it's going to be six dice from the bottom. Again, it's going to be uh, fives and sixes at a hit. And that's uh, one hit. Realistically, it's going to be on the um, on the gun, so four, five, and six is shock, six to kill, that is a kill. Uh, is it the leader? No, it's not. We are down t to one man, uh, because the junior leader's uh, knocked out. Uh, it doesn't have any shock though, so uh, it might have after this. Right, five and six to hit, uh, nothing. I feel somehow that the French are hanging on uh, by their fingernails, however, and let's continue. French phase, French double phase. So we've got a four, a two, once the chain of command dice, which takes it onto a three. Right, the senior leader is going to order this gun to fire, then this unit to move. And uh, I've got a two, so this unit can fire as well. Uh, or I could use uh, another command to reduce shock I think on this although it's it's fairly academic now with that unit but uh, anyway uh, we'll start with the gun right we'll uh, fire uh, just at the ground floor and we need four fives and sixes and that's five hits behind hard cover um, is it hard cover really it's a door I don't really think so no I'm gonna say it's soft cover I'm gonna say it's soft cover and because it's a um, high explosive it's three four is shock five six to kill uh, that's one point of shock and two kills I'll say it's one kill off the machine gun and one off the rifles but first of all is it the leader yes it is is it the junior or the senior leader junior leader one two three is the junior leader and uh, what's the outcome it takes a, a light wound and what's the consequence as far as a bad thing is concerned that's a four which I'm sure is a minus one right well that was 11 inches uh, for the infantry so that was certainly a good roll and uh, now we've got this section in the church gonna fire so it's six dice firing again at the uh, at the door that's nice needing fours uh, five hits. Four, five is shock. Six to kill. 
nothing. Right, I'm going to have to burn that. So the other two, I can't really think of anything useful to use it. So it's uh, again the French phase. Another French phase, one to the chain of command dice, which is four. Uh, but that's unfortunate because we've got a two, although I can use that for a different uh, infantry unit. Right, this unit's going to move uh, at the double. So I'll take a point of shock uh, to each team. But it will at least move nine inches. Three dice now. Two threes and a one. That's useful. This gun's going to fire again. Uh, this time it's going to fire across at the brasserie. Uh, the section here is going to take one point of shock off the junior leader uh, and then uh, they're going to move again with a one. Just over there we're going to move that team uh, further forward. Now that team's going to move tactical. Four inches. Right, four fives and sixes, six dice. And that's five hits. Right, we're split across two teams. Green is the machine gun team. Blue is the rifles. Four, five is shock, six to kill. That's uh, one point of shock on both teams. Right, it's about to uh, be the uh, German phase. I'm just going to pause for breath. Uh, the very last thing that happened is the Senegalese infantry went tactical, uh, rolled uh, a six uh, move, which is a good one, and uh, in actual fact, the French, who have this section, are now moving quite well uh, towards taking this one. The Germans are holding it with the with the brasserie. They've lost uh, the tank, and now some decisions will have to be made in terms of the squad that's in this building, and uh, perhaps uh, the hotel, whether they need to uh, to come out from there. Certainly. Uh, it might well be that they need to come out from this particular building here, um, but uh, yeah, let's wait and see. The chain of command dice, uh, both the French and the Germans are on six, and from what I thought was a very precarious point for the French, uh, it looks like they're coming back into the game. So, all to play for as we go to the German phase. Right, so it's going to be the German uh, phase, and really this is the area where the whole thing is going to uh, swing to really can the French take this particular section so German phase to start off with one to the chain of command dice taking it to three then we've got uh, two fours one and a two right well the four will mean we've got fire from the uh, hotel the three means we're going to move uh, the team in this particular building out and uh, across towards the brasserie and we've got a four here so uh, either the brasserie is going to fire uh, on this infantry in the open or possibly just fire at the French there so we'll uh, we'll wait and see. Right the senior leader's got three orders so the first one is going to get the team on the first floor to fire with five dice because we've got three shock uh, at the infantry gun here. Five dice, needing fives. And that's three hits. One's going to hit the infantry, the other two uh, the infantry gun. So uh, there's nothing other than a point of shock, a further point of shock on this infantry team as it carries. The second command is going to be the uh, machine gun team out of the door, again firing at the infantry gun, needing fives hitting twice. The outcome of that uh, is one point of shock on the infantry gun and uh, another killed amongst the uh, infantry, but I need to test whether it's the junior leader. Uh, yes it is. And he's wounded for the second time. It's the second time where he's been knocked out. I'm just going to say that he's killed uh, for that one. So the junior leader is killed, and the outcome of that is a four. I think that might be a minus one. I'll check. No, that's a minus two. So the uh, French are down to four. Um, with the third roll, um, we're going to uh, move the rifle team. In fact, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to get the rifle team to fire. Uh, but this time they'll fire at the machine gun team 
uh, in at the front of the church. It's a large window, so four dice uh, leading fours. And we've got two hits there. Soft cover, so four, five is shock. Six to kill, that is one kill. And let's test whether it's the junior leader. No, it's not. What I'm going to do with the four here is I'm going to take the two points of shock off and with the third I'll have the machine gun uh, fire out the window. It's going to lean out the window, I think you can do that. Uh, a bit of uh, artistic license. But I'll have to remember when I fire back at them, uh, it doesn't get the same cover. So uh, we need six dice firing at the uh, French. Four, five and six to hit. That's five hits. Now they're in the open. White dice are with the three, uh, what was originally the machine gun team, uh, who are close to them. Uh, let's just see how we, in fact I'll roll them differently because the second team are pinned uh, at the moment. So let's start with this group here. So we've got one point of shock and one kill. Let's sort that out in a second. And with the other group, uh, we have one kill, and I think that team is now going to break. Now, that unit will break in a second, uh, unless we've hit a junior leader. So we've got two killed there. So let's have a look and see if it was a leader. No, it wasn't. Right, so the team at the back there, we've lost a man, so we're down to two, and it will break. So... Uh, that means it's uh, team breaks is a bad thing. A one, however, I don't think has any consequence. Right, change of plan here. Um, we had a three for the um, senior leader. I've got a two and a one. Um, the whole section can't fire, so I can't just use the two. Uh, realistically... I think all I'm just going to do from here is to have the machine gun fire once more uh, at the infantry gun down here. Fires and sixes. Just one hit. One could be enough. Six. And it certainly is, unless we've hit the junior leader, which we haven't. We've killed the last man uh, off that uh, section. That's a team wiped out. And three is a minus one, takes the French down to three. Right, the French are down to three, so we're down to three dice, and also we need to remove a jump off point. So uh, I'll get rid of this one. Right, we're down to three dice. So we've got a one, a four, and a six. With a four, the senior leader's ordered this uh, machine gun team to fire, which we will in a second. He's moved himself and taken a point of shock off this small uh, section. Right, we've got the French uh, light machine gun firing. Uh, at the door, we need four, fives, and sixes to hit. We have three hits. Four, five is shock. Six to kill. Oh, two kills. Is it the leader? Yes, it is. One, two, three. It is the uh, senior leader. Four, five, six. It's the junior. It's the junior leader. And uh, let's see what happens to him. He's killed. So that's a bad thing. Let's see what happens. Five is a minus two, so the Germans are down to four. Now with the one, we're gonna fire with these four rifles. Uh, we've got the machine gunner who's always been poking out the uh, the window so he can fire at them, so certainly they can fire back. Uh, we've got um, uh, fours to hit with four rifles. And that's two hits. I'm not gonna give them any uh, cover, I don't think. Um, doesn't matter, with two ones, nothing happens. Right, so the Germans lose a jump-off point, uh, go down to four dice, so we'll take the jump-off point out from the hotel. So the Germans get another for the uh, chain of command dice, they get a one, a two and a four. Pretty much as you were. So we've got the senior leader again, so we've got both machine guns firing from the ground floor, from the first floor. Although this should be a whole section firing, it's only really the machine gun who's going to fire out of that window. And then with the one, all the way over here, uh, we're going to have the machine gun fire again down on these French. So, uh, a French uh, section, a French team, I should say. Uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. And the brasserie needing uh, four, fives, and sixes. Nothing. Firing into the church is a five. On the other side. 
nothing again. Straight ahead it's a four, firing from the first four, only five dice. Uh, this time we got three hits. And there it's four, five is shock, six to kill. Two points of shock. The uh, ground floor, actually thinking about it, I suppose the senior leader could just order both sections, the whole sections to fire. So really we should also have five dice at the top from the rifles and then we'll do the same. So five rifles firing, needing uh, four fives and sixes. Uh, we have three hits. Another point of shock. Machine gun downstairs. Three hits. Another point of shock. And then finally, got the rifles. Two, three, four hits. And uh, three more points of shock, so that's four in total to add. That's four points of shock on both teams in there, so uh, yeah, but even so, it's the end of the uh, German phase. That's not too bad. A two, three, and a four. Right, with the two, uh, this section's going to fire uh, the Germans and the brassery, and the uh, tank's going to fire its machine gun. Uh, the brassery also. Let's see how we go. Right, needing fives. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Now I'm split them. The first four is on the uh, machine gun team at the top, and I'm going to say as they lean out the window, um, we're not going to take any cover out of that. So three, four will be shock. So two points of shock at the team at the top. And the other three is for the rifles down at the bottom. And they have uh, one point of shock and one kill. Just need to check, is it the leader? No, it's not. Machine gun. Uh, one, two, three, four hits. Two and two again. Uh, we've got uh, one kill and uh, one point of shock, have we? No, it's in hard cover, so it's just one kill. Uh, I didn't say which was which, so first of all, let's see, is it a leader? No, it's not. So rifles, one, two, three. Yes, it is. Right, with a four, the senior leader here is going to move into the church as uh, quickly as he can and take a uh, point of shock off both of those teams. German phase. Germans haven't had some good rolls. Four, two and a one. Everything fires again over here so the senior leader is going to order for the uh, first floor section, ground floor section to fire. Number two, um, so this squad's going to fire, so the machine gun's really going to fire out the window uh, and with a one uh, the machine gun is going to fire again at the French. We'll start with that. Four, five and six, two hits. Out in the open one kill, one point of shock. Is it the leader? No. First machine gun team needing fives. We just have one hit. Uh, but it's a kill. Is it a junior leader? No, it's not. First floor machine gun. Five dice only. Uh, we have three hits. Two teams. White dice is the rifle team. Uh, the rifle team takes one point of shock. The rifle team will be pinned. Uh, firing again, we've got um, one hit on the machine gun team. And that's uh, nothing. Ground floor machine gun. We have one, two, three hits. Under the rifles as well. Four hits in total. Split between the groups. Uh, white is the rifles which take nothing, the others take one point of shock and one kill. Is it the junior leader? No it's not. Somehow the French have survived. It's their phase. 
two twos and a one. Right, with the two, we're going to fire again at the uh, brasserie, see if we can get anywhere. So with that needing fives. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's quite a few there. Eight hits, in fact. Uh, we've got uh, the green is the machine gun team. Uh, we haven't a great deal at all there. So we've got one point of shock on each team. And with a three, I'm going to uh, take ten inches and move this unit out. Uh, they haven't done anything so far in the game. Uh, ten inches they're going to move. German phase. German double phase. Four and a two. Right, with a four, the senior leader is going to order um, machine gun to fire against, again out of the window. It's going to take two points of shock off, uh, so it's going to fire again with six dice on that uh, unit. Even fours. Just one hit. And no effect. With a two, the first floor section is going to fire again uh, at the, uh, uh, the uh, French in the church. Machine gun first, leading fours, uh, four hits. Green is the machine gun team. Uh, point of shock on both. Four rifles firing out the window. Wow, that's uh, four hits. And ki oh, that kills uh, one of the rifle team. And I think that might well break. Uh, so I'll work that out in a second. Just before I work that, just see if it's the leader. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Uh, they do break, so team breaks. Four is at least a minus one. It is, and the French are down to two, but it's actually uh, the German phase again. Three, four, and a five. One for the chain of command dice, uh, and a three and a four. Right, the senior leader over here is going to try and finish off that group again. Needing fours to hit, two hits. And one kill, and that should be it. Is it the leader? No, it's not. But it is a team wiped out. Two, I think, is nothing. I think that keeps the French on two. Yes, it is. The French stay on two. Right, with the three, I've got a junior leader on the first floor, so we're going to have the machine gun fire, five dice, and the... Um, well, actually, he orders the, the whole section to fire. Uh, it can take one point of shock off his team, which takes it down to two. It's still a minus one, so it's five dice, and then four out of the window, so we've got nine dice in total. Nine dice leading fours. One, two, three, four hits. Two kills, two points of shock. Is it the leader? No, it's not. Now I've got seven shock, three men, so the team will break. One. Unbelievably, there's no impact. The French stay at two for force morale. It's also three dice uh, for the French, so uh, two ones and a three. With the three, uh, they're going to go out the double and try and get towards that road, and with two, uh, this uh, section again is going to fire at the brasserie, at the double. That's 15 inches. Right, we seem to need a, a miracle roll. We need fives. And we've got one, two, three of them. It's up for a start. Um, and it says one kill and one shot, because they're the ones who've always been leaning out the window. Team at the bottom. There's nothing. Let's just check whether it's the leader. No, it isn't. German phase. One, two, three, four. Right. Surely here they must uh, finish the game off. Right, in the brasserie, the junior leader who's on the ground floor is going to take two points of shock off the um, rifle team. Uh, on the first floor, the senior leader is going to take the two points of shock off the uh, machine gun team and order the whole section to fire. Right, they're firing at the VB team, needing fours. One, two, three, four hits. They're in the open. And they've got one kill, one point of shock. Is it the leader? No. 
Right, with the squad in that building, they're going to try and come out and uh, engage this unit here if they get near enough. Oh, they certainly don't. And it's the French phase. One, two, and a four. Right, this senior leader here is going to go into that building and get out of the uh, firing line. This team is going to move at the double and try and get off the board. And this section, this uh, two, are going to fire again at the brasserie. Right, see so if they can get off the board for a start. Uh, eight inches, I think they can. Right, that VB team fell short. They didn't get off the table. The idea being to get off the table here and then have some kind of miracle uh, roll with the uh, Senegalese infantry maybe kill a senior leader, get the Germans down to next to nothing and then hopefully have them a bad roll, but that's not happened. So we need some fives and there doesn't look like a lot there. One, two, three, four, five maybe, that's okay. Five. Top floor, three fought to kill, one killed. I'll have a look at that again in a second and then we've got uh, two on the ground floor. Forget about that. So question is, is that person killed out of that uh, machine gun team, is it the leader? No it's not. Well the brasserie has really been whittled down but not far enough because now it's the German phase and uh, I think that VB team is uh, toast. Two, three and a four, uh, I think that's uh, exactly what's going to happen. Right I'm going to use the troops that are in that building. Well I should have rolled actually beforehand. I rolled just one dice and got a one. I should have rolled two d6 and deducted the lowest, the lower of the two numbers. So that was an error in itself. Unless we get two ones. Now we've got a five and a six. So that section is going to come out uh, and attack that VB team there. Okay I'll just talk through how we get a certain amount of dice for this game. All right so let's look at the French. So we've got two dice there because we've got two men. You don't count the junior leader. We get two points for the leader himself there. Uh, we also get uh, two points because they are one level above the Germans in troop quality and you get 1d6 for each of the dice the Germans needed to move. So it's two dice, although we lost the lower number, uh, but we had two. So in total, the French get eight. The Germans start with eight because they've got eight men. We've also got a light machine gun, gives you four. We've got two for the leader, uh, same way we have with the French. And we also get two because we've got a submachine gun as well. So the Germans in the end have 16, so it's two to one. When we roll, it's a five or a six to kill. If you get a six, it's an additional point of shock to the enemy. So what do we get here? So the French uh, get four in total, one of which is an additional point of shock. Here come the Germans. In fact, it was a lot closer than we thought. In the end, uh, the Germans win by one, uh, but they wipe out that uh, French section. Now, they've only got three men, so we know uh, if we've had five kills, then we need to work out about how we go on with the uh, junior leader. So we'll do that uh, in a moment. The Germans have got uh, four kills, but we want to know, is there the junior leader in amongst them? So we roll a d6, one to four, it will be the junior leader. Is it the junior leader amongst it? Uh, yes it is. What happens to him? Uh, he gets a light wound and so it's a bad thing. A bad thing is a two. Let's check that. Two is no effect so the Germans stay at four on their morale and they lose at three men. The French uh, have, have taken five kills so we need to see uh, whether that includes our junior leader we have, I think it's definitely once, if not definitely twice, but let's work that out. So uh, we take a wound uh, for that, so with the three, so he takes a light wound. In fact, it's, with three means he's actually not uh, unconscious. Um, and we need to take a bad thing for a wound that we take, which is a six, which I think is a minus two, which would take the French down to zero. So that's even before we work out the fact that we've got a team wiped out. The bad thing there, it's a three, so at least we'll be a minus one. But the French are certainly down to zero, and that certainly is the game. 
Well, the end of the game, uh, the French haven't been able to uh, take this uh, second section. They've been held up by the uh, the Germans really in the in the brasserie. And uh, the fact that I haven't been able to coordinate uh, an attack here. We've got a good section uh, really at the, at the edge of the board and this tank, even though uh, they took an advantage by uh, knocking out the Panzer II, the French uh, attack really failed and certainly failed across here in the centre and was really held back by uh, the troops uh, in the hotel. I did feel that there seemed to be quite uh, fortunate roles for the Germans as we went, but that's uh, you know the way uh, the way it goes. So uh, just to uh, close off, I've um, I put a, a couple of points uh, in, and thanks to people who'd suggested uh, names for the game, which I'll put at the uh, uh, the uh, title as it goes out on uh, on YouTube. Um, it would be great if you uh, came back with some thoughts either in the uh, Chain of Command France 1940 uh, Facebook group or on uh, YouTube, any comments, etc. about improvements to the game or other thoughts or other games you might want to see. And I uh, just want to say thanks, uh, for, uh, thanks for watching. It's been a lengthy game, uh, but hopefully uh, you've, uh, you've enjoyed it. And uh, just finally, for anybody who is new uh, to the uh, Wargaming World channel, uh, if you just have a, a look on uh, YouTube and uh, if you just subscribe, then we can have uh, the, the games will come out uh, more or less once a week. And then you can add some thoughts into uh, how, we make, uh, how we make improvements and other, uh, other ideas for new games and perhaps uh, a campaign too. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you've enjoyed the game, then please subscribe.